All right, 2,100 pounds, and there's still room for you. <laughs> Hi, it's Derek with Haven Tents. We're here today doing a stress test of the Haven Safari. The last time we loaded up one of our backpacking hammocks, it held about 1,000 pounds. The Haven Safari is more rugged and tough. Let's see what it can do. Hey, I'm Tim. Uh, I've worked uh, with Haven for a little while now. You, if you've messaged in, you've probably heard from me. Okay, so we've got uh, tree straps connected to the tree up there, um, and it runs all the way down through the tractor. We even have it connected to the front of the car for the counterweight just to make sure it all goes well. So we'll see what happens. Reset, we're gonna have to unload it and then raise it a little. This is just the tent and the air mattress. There's no magic tricks here, no strings. This is literally just our design. You'll see no matter how much weight we put in this, it'll be flat the entire time. 1,000 pounds. And are we still airborne? Nah, it slipped. <laughs> okay, reset. It keeps sliding. Another, this is 1,000 pounds, and now we're airborne at least. I say let's go find two big trees to do this on, but we're in Utah, trees aren't that big, and there's no trees close to the salt. It's hard to move 2,000 pounds of salt. We're gonna find out where the weak link is in our chain. Is it the basketball standard? <laughs> is it the tractor? Is it whatever we got going on here? Or the hammock? We think we got it figured out now. Tim and I are both pretty scrawny, but after lifting so much salt, we're gonna be just muscle bound. Oh, yeah. Our wives don't even recognize us. So when we got it to a thousand pounds again for the fourth time, the spreader bar didn't like it very much. This has the same frame as the XL, so the spreader bars being longer carry a ton of tension. We're gonna load it up again without the spreader bars and see how much weight it'll hold. Well, we got Haven Safari up to a thousand pounds a few times. Again, we're being foiled by our anchoring which I guess if you weigh a thousand pounds, you know, being comfortable in a hammock is probably the least of your worries, <laughs> but <laughs> you'll want to make sure that you anchor off to bigger things and maybe not use a tractor. All right, we had to redo our system so that the anchor points were closer to the hammock body. Now we got a big rock here. We were feeling bad for those little scrawny trees. 16, <laughs> a thousand pounds. That is 2,000 pounds in the hammock body. 2,100 pounds. Oh no, all of our salt's tipping over. <laughs> all right, 2,100 pounds. Ta-da! Holy cow, 2,260 pounds. <laughs> the strap broke. The hammock is just fine. That was crazy. <laughs> I had it double strapped. So this strap broke right here. Who broke first? Before Haven Safari, our steel carabiner is what broke. That is insane. Holy cow, that is so cool. Well, actually it was probably the strap that started to break. And then as it was dropping, it was starting to uh, catch, right? And so it was more and more strain on the carabiner until eventually that's what broke. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool, all right.